Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about keyboard shortcuts, which is one of my favorite topics and something that I've been specializing in years. So this is really fun for me. All right, so keyboard shortcuts in Rebel 4, you have your standard buttons, you have pinch to zoom, you have rotate. If you want to get the screen back, the canvas back right to center, you can hit period. And you'll see all these keyboard shortcuts are going to be displayed with key press OSD right here in the center of the screen. So we'll rotate, we're going to hit period again. You have your standard ones. The space bar is going to let you pan. R will let you rotate. Z will let you zoom in and out. Let's go ahead and put some color on the screen. We have the watercolor brush selected. And if we want to color pick, you can use Alt. If you want to change the size of the brush, you can use the square bracket. Right square bracket is going to make it larger. Left is going to make it smaller. Use control to adjust the size of the brush dynamically. Left is smaller, right is larger. And up and down is going to adjust the opacity of the brush. The different painting modes right here, paint one, paint and mix two, paint and blend three, my favorite. Blend four and erase five are a special type of keyboard shortcut. And uh, this one is something called a holding or a fast toggle. So what that means, I'm going to go ahead and press one. And if you look over here, when I release it, it'll go back to where it was, which was three. So let's do that same thing. We're going to start at three and we're going to do four, which is blend only. We're going to erase. And as we return back, I let go of number five. It's going to go right back to where it was with blend. This is fantastic. I absolutely love these type of keyboard shortcuts. You're doing about half as many keyboard shortcuts when you're using these fast toggles or hold keys. Let's clear the canvas and let's add some water to the canvas. Now I'm going to hit W. And this is going to add water on the screen, but we can't see it because water is hidden. So we're going to press H and you can now see that. You can turn water on and off, the visibility of water on and off, not water. With H, let's go ahead and add more water with W. Let's dry some of that water with D. And let's put some paint directly over the top of it. So we're going to select the watercolor brush. Let's go ahead and add some color right over the top of this. And you can see that diffuse. We're going to hit H again so that we can see what's going on. Now we're going to switch to the blow tool, which is O, not B, blow O. <laughs> that might help some people. It helps me. It is really my favorite tool. F is going to fast dry. Now with fast dry, we're going to press H to look at the water. It's going to keep the wet areas wet. Instead of drying them or pausing diffusion, this is going to stop the diffusion without drying the layer. Really useful, and the keyboard shortcut again for that is F. If you hit it twice, nothing will happen different than hitting it once. All right, let's go ahead and press H again. So we've just gone over W for water, D for dry, and O for bl O. <laughs> it helps. It helps. Let's go ahead and reset the layer. And let's talk about the selection tool. Selection tool is M. And you can make a selection with it. Not surprising information, hopefully. <laughs> if you drag from the corners here, it's going to pivot the scaling of the selection from the opposite corner over here. Now Alt is going to pivot around a central point, up and down, left and right. If we add Shift, it'll keep the same shape as it scales up and down. Now if we do just Shift, it'll maintain its aspect ratio as it scales up and down, but will pivot from the opposite node which is these little blue dots. Now let's go ahead and finish making this selection. We're going to tap right outside of it. Now we have this nice rectangle. If I use Alt and I make another selection, 
when I tap, this is going to eat into or subtract from that original shape. Let's select the freehand tool and do the same thing with shift. So I'm going to hold down shift. And when I release, it's going to add to the selection. So shift is going to add and alt is going to erase. If you put them together, it will keep things looking the same as they grow and shrink. That's the super simple way of saying it all. Undo, which is something that you'll probably use quite a bit, is control Z, just like everywhere else. And shift control Z is redo. Transform is T. The same keyboard shortcuts apply here, that alt and shift. Now let's go ahead and tap on the outside. If we want to deselect, that is control D or deselect. If you want to make your own custom keyboard shortcuts, you go up here to edit and keyboard shortcuts, tools and hold. You're going to notice that there's a handful more here that we didn't mention. I tried to mention the ones that are used most frequently to add to that. E for eraser is also very frequently used. And then the difference between tools and tools hold. We talked about that fast toggle, that really quick way to switch between tools by holding the keyboard shortcut and then releasing it. That is here inside a hold. Any keyboard shortcut here that you add, when you tap it, it will switch. When you hold it, it will do that fast toggle. So if you want to add something that has dual function here, tools, hold, this is the place to add that keyboard shortcut. And in order to create one of these, what you would do, select whatever tool you want to create a keyboard shortcut for, and then right down here, you don't even have to tap, just tap your keyboard shortcut. If you want to have a second keyboard shortcut that does the same thing, switches is to that same tool, you can hit that plus right here, and that will add a second box, and you can fill that with a different shortcut. If you want to restore those back to the default settings, you can erase it by clicking the X or set default button right there. If you want to use a single touch on the screen to activate the keyboard shortcut, you can click right here, single touch, or use the pen eraser. But once you do that, you're going to notice it's going to warn us that this is already being used by the eraser. We can change that. It'll remove the shortcut from the one and add it to the other. Rebel 4 has also been optimized for use with the Tablet Pro Artist Pad. So we go here and we import the layout, the Tablet Pro layout. So here, anytime you want to bring up a specific window, you can tap the keyboard shortcut for it. And then as soon as you're done with it, you can put it away. You can switch between your tools. And let's make this area wet and switch to the blow tool. Let's fast dry and let's sample a color. If you're using Rebel 4 on a tablet and you don't have a keyboard with you, the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro is a great way to execute all these keyboard shortcuts. If you want to learn more about how Tablet Pro's Artist Pad is integrated with Rebel 4, how to set that up, we'll have a tutorial on that later on in this series. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.